hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are going to crack another super shining super badge which is nothing but an approval process management super badge unit so let's get started guys so for this super badge also we need a special developer kind of organization to be connected in our org so as i have already completed that step i'm just directly going to launch this and take up this challenge now so if you have any doubts regarding how to connect with developer edition organization the video is already posted in our channel so do check that so let's take up this first challenge now so here in our home page let's go to our object manager so from object manager in quick find we have to select enhancement request So search for that and click on enhancement request now and here go to fields and relationship we are going to create a new field click on new and from our challenge our field name is already given so this is our field name so copy this approval status and here we are going to select data type as a pick list and click on next and here in field label we are going to paste it and select value as enter values and go back to our challenge and copy this pick list values and come back here and paste it and now we are going to select this checkbox which is a use first value as a default value now click on next and here select the all visible checkbox and click on next and click on save here let's switch to our page layouts click on enhancement request layout so from here click on mobile and lightning action and we are going to drag and drop the submit for approval under salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions now click on save let's go to our home and here search for approval process and select this approval processes here we are going to choose manage approval process for enhancement request so search for enhancement request and under create new approval process we are going to choose use standard setup wizard so choose it and for process name we have to go back to our challenge and copy this new enhancement request and paste it over here and click on next so for this page we are going to select enhancement request for our approval status operator equals and value we are going to give it as a new and for second step we are going to give it as a description not equal to and for third step as a priority fourth as a type and the last thing as date needed followed by not equal to for each and everything so once this step is done we have to click on next here give a condition with or and click on next click on lookup filter so here under lightning uh, you can find a new enhancement request so we have to choose that and click on next and here i'm going to choose the size as well as the proposed implementation date 
just scroll down and we don't have any changes over here and click on next for this last step we are going to check this checkbox alone and click on save select this third radio button and click on go and here we are going to choose inactive approval process as a new enhancement request and for this we are going to create a new field so next to initial submission action we are going to add new field update we are going to copy this and paste it over here and unique name is auto populator for field to update we are going to choose this approval status followed by uh, submitted so once it, it is done click on save let's add our uh, new approval steps here click on new approval step so for this we are going to give uh, label as salesforce admin so copy and paste it over here click on next and next for here we are going to select our second radio button followed by salesforce admins click on save select third option over here and click on go and again we are going to add one more uh, approval step click on new approval step and for this we are going to give a name as center of excellence so copy this and paste it over here so this is our uh, step number two click on next and here when all of criteria are met we are going to choose it as type operator as equals and for value we are going to give new feature request and click on next and this is our final step of creating the uh, approval setup so for this i am going to choose the second option for select approver and here in lookup filter we are going to choose center of excellence now click on save let's give this third option and click on go and we have to create one more approval step which is it leaders so copy this and paste it over here this is our third step click on next for this step we are going to select criteria or mat for this so select type which is equals and value as or a new data integration and click on next let's repeat the same process here again choose the second option so click on it click on save let's choose this third option here click on go and for the second center of excellence uh, we have one uh, option uh, left over here so let's correct that go to our second step so here at else we have to choose go to next step and click on save once if that process is completed uh, we have to come here for our uh, center of excellence click on show actions so for approval action we are going to add new email alert so click on that email alert and the description that we are going to give here is enhancement request approval alert so paste it over here and for recipient type we are just going to leave it as user so for your email template uh, we are switching to lightning and click on enhancement request approved for recipient type give it as role and for role we are going to choose it as sf admin and for owner 
we are going to choose it as enhancement request owner so once if these two steps are done scroll down and click on save now let's go back to our uh, third step click on show action and here we are going to click on add existing from here select the uh, email alert now choose email alert enhancement request approved alert and click on save now scroll down and for uh, final approval action add new field update so for this we are going to give a label as update status to approve so copy this and paste it over here and unique name is auto populated and for name we are going to choose it as approval status here give it as approve click on save now let's do this for a final rejection action click on add new followed by field update and here we need to copy this one which is a update status to defer and paste it over here and field to update we are going to give it as approval status followed by defer and click on save let's activate this now click on ok pop up so here let's go to a lightning app builder so click on lightning app builder and click edit next to home page default from here on our uh, left side panel we are going to click on this items to approve and drag this under this assistance so once if it is done let's go and save this click on activation so yeah guys we have successfully completed all the challenges together so let's check our all challenge now so we have passed our first challenge so let's go to our second challenge we have completed our second challenge too now let's go back to our third challenge and yeah followed by fourth challenge so guys we have completed all the four challenges together so if you want any prerequisite for this approval process management super badge unit and that video is also posted in our channel so do check that and if you find this video useful do subscribe to our channel see you all on next video until then bye bye